Good morning. It says in Romans chapter 8 that those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. It says that God foreknew us. What does foreknow mean? It just means to know in advance. He knew you before. He knew you before you knew him. He knew you before you were born. He knew you before the world was made. It says in Ephesians, he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. It's, he says, God chose you from the beginning to be saved. Before the world was even made, God knew you. God is not restricted by time. God knows every single person who would ever be born in every generation. He knows them personally and intimately, and that includes you. It includes you especially because he chose you to put your faith in Jesus Christ and be saved. God knew you well before you were ever born, and he knew you would be saved. He knew he would call you and choose you and that you would respond. It's, Paul says, those whom God foreknew, he also predestined. God knew you before you knew him. Maybe you've only known God for a few months. Maybe you've only known him for a few years. And it takes a lifetime and, and longer to get to know God. And we can say that we know God, we have a relationship with God, but we don't know him as he knows us. He knows everything about you. He knew you before the world was made. Do you think he knows about your weaknesses? Do you think he knows about your problems and issues? Do you think he knows about the mountains that you face? About what goes on in your heart and mind and your family? Yeah, God knows all of it. He knew you and he loved you and chose you before the world was born. Before you chose him, he chose you. Before there was a, a world to stand on, God knew you and looked through the annals of time and chose you. Not that there was any annals of time for him, only for us, but he chose you right before his face and called you by name. Today you are known by God. You're not a mystery to him. Sometimes we're a mystery to ourselves. We don't really know ourselves. We can't figure ourselves out. We're often our own biggest problem but we're not a problem to God because he knew you. Those whom he foreknew, he chose and predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. God has a great plan for your life and today's part of it, but it began in his heart before the world was ever created. You're not an accident. God isn't doing random with you. This is a very specific plan he has. And he does it because he knows you so, so well. He knit you together in your mother's womb. There isn't anything about you physically, mentally, personality-wise, emotional makeup. He knows you through and through. And good news, he loves you. He chose you. He doesn't want someone else. He wants you. You're unique. Your fingerprints are unique. Your eyes are unique. Your heart and spirit and soul are totally unique. There's only one you, and you are loved and chosen by God and known by him. Enjoy that thought today. Lord, we thank you that before the world was created, you chose us in him. We thank you that those whom you foreknew, you knew us before. Before the world was made, you knew us. You knew us before we were born, before we knew you, before anything. We thank you, Lord, that we're not a mystery to you, even though we are to ourselves sometimes. Thank you that you know us through and through, and to know us in your grace is to love us. Thank you, Father, for that truth. Amen.